or a tight surface. Okay. Now, what are the their operations? We'll study one by one. Let us first start with AND gate. The symbol for AND gate is like this. Okay, I will start from new page, I think, because there are so many things to discuss. Symbol for end gate is this one. This is two input and gate. It may be three input also. That means there may be multiple input and gates are also possible. But usually, if nothing is specified, con consider it as two input. These are the input lines, and this is the output line. Okay. And it does AND function based on hardware. And one thing I just have forgotten to mention that logic gate is made of semiconductor conductor technology. That is, I think you know about semiconductor a little bit. Hmm. Uh, there are varieties of semiconductor technologies like field effect transistor, transistor, transistor logic, this type of things. So internally, logic gate is made of this type of things, but externally, we'll uh, view it as a unit that performs some function. We will not get into the detail of that, how uh, using semiconductor it is fabricated or it is synthesized or like that. We will not get into that issues because uh, these are very complex things and beyond your syllabus, okay. If you belong to electronics department, then maybe you will have the scope to learn this type of things. Now in AND gate, these are known as input, let's say inputs are A and B, where A and B is nothing but the presence of high voltage and low voltage, so that's why these are 0 and 1. And let us consider output is C. C is also, it will be either high voltage or low voltage. So it will also be 0 or 1. Now, how do I decide that uh, it will be 0 or 1? How do I decide? Actually, the operation of AND is similar to one switch circuit. Let us consider these two are the switches of this network. It's a circuit. Okay. And the off of the switch, off of the switch, when the switch is off, that state is represented by 0, and the switch is on, that state is represented by 1. And when light glow, here is a bulb that is also attached to uh, that is also the part of the circuit so if the bulb glows then we'll write one and if bulb doesn't glow then we'd write zero Now, how can I uh, get the behavior of this circuit? A, let us prepare combinations.
so if two switches are off that means two switches are these two uh, these switches are disconnected from the circuit so that's why you cannot expect the bulb will glow you cannot expect that bulb will glow okay so that's why it is zero if it is zero and one one of them is connected another is disconnected so it looks like this <coughs> actually uh, under that scenario still due to this a is disconnected so bulb doesn't glow if it is one and zero same thing happens and if it is one and one then only both of the switches are on and the circuit is fully connected <clears throat> under that scenario there is a possibility of bulb to glow okay so this behavior is same as the behavior of AND gate. Okay, the symbol for AND gate is this one. A, sorry, a, it's not A. Okay, I, I better write it with A because A is usually denoted by denoted as the output. Okay, so otherwise it will be a little a bit confusion for you people so function is written as a c a and b a dot b it's not multiplication you have to read if it is specified, it's a logical operation, then you have to read as A dot B. Okay. So this is the behavior of AND gate. This is the symbol for AND gate. This is the, sorry, this is the logic symbol for AND gate. This is representation of AND gate. This is the behavior of the la, la, AND gate known as truth table. This table is known as truth table. And this is something analogous to AND gate, but in exam, you don't have to write this. Okay. This part is totally redundant just for your explanation. In exam, you don't have to write this. Okay. Only these three things are enough the symbol, representation, and truth table. If you are asked to describe AND gate. Okay. But this is just for your understanding. Now, or gate. OR gate means the OR gate symbol for OR gate is this one. A, B, and M. And mind it, it is two input OR gate because like AND gate, it may be multiple of multiple input like this. In this way, actually, this is also possible, but if nothing is specified, we have to consider this to input. Now, how to uh, characterize the or get is representation is like this, okay. 
it looks like a plus but if i provide if i mention that it's a logical operation you have to read it as a or b it's not a plus b okay if it is an arithmetic operation it is a plus b but if it is a logical operation symbol is same you have to read it as a or b it's not a plus b okay. now what will be the truth table of the it hmm. So let us organize the information. We can also produce the permutation of inputs because with two bit we know how many permutations are possible. Okay, uh, just one of you have posted one question. I know that uh, logic gate gives only zero and one depend, depending on program and it is used in real life decision making or only hardware for giving value. Actually, it is the fundamental components of hardware. So in real life decision making, logic is used that this or and uh, not this type of gates are used for decision making. That is also true, but as a part of hardware, we also use logic gates. Hmm. Uh, okay. Electric, yeah, we know that it is used in electric circuit, but it gives decision as zero and one. Okay as per your coding and voltage okay that is also okay coding and voltage means uh, i can remind one thing that how do i characterize one or zero that has some rule in it that uh, usually uh, if something is above 5 volt or like that it's not always 5 volt then it is considered at 1 otherwise it is considered as 0 so depending on the voltage level we will choose or we will decide either the input is 0 or, or 1 and that is also true for output so it's not about particularly we are sending 1 and 0 it depends on how are we coding the voltage level that is true also. Usually it is 5 volt, but uh, it doesn't mean that always it, ha it has to be 5 volt. It may depend on the programmer, hardware programmer. Uh, sir, what if the value becomes 4.9 volt or something like 5.9? Uh, that, is, that is something in, that is I'm talking about. This is it depends on the programmer. If, if, if it is 4.9 or like that, so you have to strictly define what will be the threshold okay if it is if the threshold is strictly five then it will be considered uh, less than five and but since it is very close to five people may also consider this above five so there is no such hard and fast rule but since it is very close to five uh, then we may consider it is although uh, it is zero because it is uh, less than 5 because uh, if it is 5.1 like that so we will consider it as a 1 okay but it is not always used as a convention it depends on system and programmer okay but this is the idea you have to define your threshold properly to make it or to code it as 0 or 1 okay Now coming back to our original topic, OR gate. So here I am also drawing one circuit because AND OR and NOT requires some sort of analogy, but after that we don't require any analogy because everything is made of AND OR NOT and that's why this is called, these are called fundamental logic gates. So here we need one analogy. The circuit may look like this.
consider this is your circuit these two switches are connected in parallel to each other as a result if both of them are open that means both of them are off then your output is off bulb doesn't glow but if one of them is on that means let's say this time b is on whatever then b will look like this sorry b will look like this then there is a possibility of current flowing through this section so that's why your light will glow okay similarly if it happens for a let's say a is on this thing is not available a is on still there is a possibility of current flowing even if your b is off okay that's why your switch or light will glow so this is also and if both of them are on then also your light will glow so this is the truth table for logic and or gate and behavior is like this circuit okay but in your exam you don't have to mention this type of things these are for your understanding you if you mention this one this one and this one these three things are enough with some description okay. so we have discussed and or okay and we have to discuss not gate i think if you compare the operation with this you can very easily understand what is the operation carried out by these gates because in and gate operation we have also uh, seen that if both of the statements are true then only the statement is true the same thing happens here when both of the gates are one both of the inputs are one then output is one but for rest of the cases output is zero these operations are same as logical operations what we have learned in c programming okay now why are these three gates called fundamental logic gates because any type of logical expression can be realized using fundamental logic gates so that means any logic expression there is no such logic expression in the world which cannot be expressed using these three gates okay. however complex it may be it may be time consuming to prepare it may be but not impossible okay these are called fundamental logic gates or basic logic gate now we have to discuss not gate not gate is also known as inverter okay not gate is known as another type of logic gate i just have forgotten to mention that is known as buffer i will mention that because everything i cannot define at a time so actually on that page i am keep in, in information populated one by one that's why now inverter what is we write inverter in this way symbol for it is this one it's like a triangle and bubble before it It is nothing but okay. 
it requires only one input and if you compare with the not gate not operation you can also find that not takes only one input if your expression is true not makes it false if your expression is false not makes it true let's say i think you can remember also if uh, 10 greater than 2 if it is the expression return of that expression is true as a result return of this entire expression is false okay same thing happens here also but uh, let us draw one circuit analogous to it let's say we have on the this circuit is just for your understanding it's not mandatory mind it you don't need to write draw it in your exam okay okay this is just for understanding operation if you can understand the operation there is no need for this circuit so with one digit with one binary digit or with one bit how many permutations are possible zero and one i think now when it is zero that means it is disconnected the current is forced to flow through this path and the light should glow and when it is on since there is a resistance along this path the current will will be short circuited and it will avoid this path okay as a result the light doesn't glow so uh, this circuit is quite analogous to and operation and but these three are important for your exam and for your understanding also if you have already understood then it is okay and let's say i connect two ends together okay then what happens here actually i will get a inverted and after that i will get the inverted of that inverted so as a result if it is zero then here i will get one and now after this operation it will again become zero if it is one then it is zero then it again becomes one so if it is a then it becomes a not and it becomes a not not that is also equal to a now these are fundamental logic gates that means any type of logical expression can be prepared using this uh let's say i go back to the previous space because still that is empty let's say my expression is like this a is equal to sorry. If this is your pure expression is like this, then how can I write it? Because uh, this is OR operation; these are AND operations. So X, Y, and Z. Let's say these three are inputs, and when Y, we have to. okay actually i have drawn it in different ways let us it will be much easier to draw in this way i uh, better erase that part that is not required x y and z if i draw these lines vertically then it will be easier for us to draw okay x y 
then x y bar or y not that is also called as complement y complement so x y complement this is one of the components and y direct y and z this is connected by or gets and finally this is connected by and gets so this is actually the complete logic get realization of this expression so any expression in the world can be realized in and get or get and not get okay that's why this is, these are known as fundamental so if you have these three types of gates available you, it cannot be that you cannot realize any expression this is very impossible task you can realize each and every expression so up to this i think it is clear if you have any doubt please tell me because everything followed by you will be based on so far i have discussed understood sir okay it's clear sir i have a question yes. okay question sir you told that this uh, logic gate are made up of semiconductor technology mm -hmm. that means sir these gates are used in computer circuitry so sir mm -hmm. you yes. you showed us sir uh, the big big circuit like bulb switches so how these big circuits are implemented in our computer circuitry no 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 these are not uh, use, used is logic gate these are these are these are the switch circuits that is used in boolean algebra and this operation is quite analogous to this one but these are not available in computer system okay. you you don't get confused with the term and that's why the sometimes i don't discuss about these things because these are the standard switch circuits switch circuits in boolean algebra whose operation is analogous to this but it's not like that this things are available inside computer system okay sir don't get confused with that in computer system these things are available gates okay, okay. sir okay sir and initially what you are talking about this is not totally baseless because initially when computer is made up if computer was big because uh, the circuits uh, when in that time actually uh, there is no such technology of ic that means in integrated circuit technology so everything was connected in form of component so as a result a computer was as big as a room of a, a house okay so now it has, it has been reduced due to uh, ic improvement of ic technology especially the improvement in vls now uh, in nand and not so these two are the universal logic gate why is it so because nand each of this each of this can be mapped to and or or not that means nand can be tuned to behave like and or and not similarly nor can also be tuned to behave like and no or or not i will discuss the internal detail of this but you mind it that these two are alone capable of generating the logical expressions of and or and not why is it i will show that's why these are known as universal gate so as a result a gate can be tuned uh, to and or and not so these each of these gates or each type of gate is capable of realizing any logical expression because if you can convert nand gate into and or or not then if you can map properly into fundamental logic gate then you can also express any expression using the nand gates and similarly you can represent any expression using nor gate so these two gates are universal logic So I will discuss. There are symbols, truth tables, etc.
its expression is like this and its truth table while i'm going to make its truth table you have to know combination I, I generate combination permutation it, it is equivalent to this now uh, if you are newly understanding this concept, you, you just memorize this table, not memorize, you just really understand this table. Uh, for only one and one, your output is one, for rest of the uh, permutations, the output is zero. Okay, this is AND. And this is equivalent to connecting AND and NOT in series. Okay. So for zero and zero, what is the output here? I think it is zero and when it is inverted or it is passed through not gate then it becomes one so it is one similarly zero and one it is also zero when it is passed through NAND not gate then it becomes one this this is also one and for one and one it is one and when it is passing through not then it becomes zero. So this is the circuit of AND gate. Later I will show how a NAND gate can be behave like AND or AND NOT. Okay. I think you have understood that thing. So I can also uh, write NAND here because, sorry, not here. So much space is left here. For NOR gate, the symbol is like which is equivalent to I am writing the equivalence in different ink. Such that mechanism is very clear too. Okay. Or get and not get in a series. And its expression is it's like a class symbol. But you can see that up to here it is A plus B, not A plus B, A or B. And then on the top of it, this bar appears. And what will be the truth table? The truth table is for 0 and 0. What is the output here? 0. 0. What is the output here? 1. 1. 1. So ultimately it is 1. For rest of the cases, 0 and 1 output is? 0. For 0 and 1, for OR gate? 1. So one. It's going to be uh, 1. 1. And here it is 0. zero. So for rest of the cases, I think if you consult the OR gate, it will be this. Okay. So for NOR gate, the behavior of the NOR gate is like this, and behavior of NAND gate is like this. Now we will check if these gates can be tuned to 
and or and not and before getting into that discussion we have to discuss other gates okay. let me discuss that gate because that thing is uh, like an kind of analysis so before getting into that analysis let me discuss the basic items xor or exclusive or we have to say its expression is a exclusive or a symbol or the expression is written in in this way which means a ever and ever b actually the meaning of this is like this okay now what will be the truth table of this Okay. Now, a if if your outputs are zero and zero, then zero zero complement. Or zero complement zero, I think. So it is zero or one zero. So in our operation, you check it if the inputs are zero and one. So and operation, this is nothing one. but for and operation, this part is one zero, zero and this part is also zero. So zero or zero. What is it? Check it. Zero. Zero. So in this way, actually, we populate that table. So later, you will check for zero and one. I think okay because uh, it requires some explanation for zero and one. So zero and one. So zero. This part is zero because this is and operation zero and zero zero and this part is one and this part is one. So in this way, actually, we make it. So similarly, we will find this. And we can remember in this way that when both of the inputs are equal, then it is zero, and both, when both of the equal inputs are not equal, then it is one. Okay. Behavior of this gate is, is as a result, this gate is used as a comparator, used to build comparator. That means comparing two bits, if two bits are equal or not. Sir, it is something like sir, both way switches we use in our house. Both way switch? No. Both way switch means? Like, sir, uh, a switch in our switchboard and uh, one is near our bed, bed switch. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Mm, quite similar. Yes, sir, if both the switches are on, then uh, the light stays off. Or both are off, light stays off. Hmm. But that is, if that is. one is on, then the appliance can be on. Okay. If if both switches are independent. Hi, it is quite analog to that situation. Now, next gate is 
एक्सक्लूसिव नॉर और एक्स नॉर actually we add bubble to the front of that logic tree on the front of and that is equivalent to if i write, okay uh, i write the expression first this is the expression of exclusive nor gate and which is nothing but a b Plus a bar, b bar, and this is equivalent to this one. That means exclusive OR gate and NOT gate connected in a series. So clearly, up to this, the output should be as same as the output in exclusive or, but due to the presence of this inverter, it is actually inverting the final output. It's uh, altering the final output. So, as a result, it will be one, zero, zero, and one. i didn't compute because i know this is the property of this but you can also check it from the expression okay just few slides back if i go back few slides i have discussed that if two inverters are connected in a series then it provides the same output as the input okay this circuit is known as buffer but it it is sometimes used as a separate gate that means it symbol is same as non gate not gate but there is no such bubble on the front of it before that triangle okay so this is nothing but the buffer in electronics you will get also a, a type another type of buffer which, which is known as tri state buffer where uh, external one input is required hmm, to make it on and off okay if that thing is high then only uh, it's possible to get the output otherwise if this thing is low then the output is considered as invalid it is neither one or not zero that is tri state buffer but these things are not in your syllabus it is quite related that's why i tell you sometimes you need to disconnect some parts so under that scenario the tri state buffer is used it is of sometimes it is of two types sometimes it is uh, directly connected sometimes it is connected in a inverted way that means there is some bubble that means presence of zero it operates and presence of one it does not operate so for i have discussed exclusive or exclusive nor buffer everything i will take a break for 10 minutes then i will come back to the discussion why a nand gate is called universal logic gate and also it is true for nor why is it so
So back after the break. So now I'm going to discuss how or why man with is called universal logic gate. Why is NAND gate called universal logic gate? Okay. So if I have to do this, then I have to map NAND into all fundamental gates. That means AND, OR, and NOT. If it is possible using this fundamental, we can realize any expression. So that's why. Using NAND, we can realize any expression. In this way, we do. We can prove that it is universal logic gate. Now, how to make AND to behave like a NOT? NAND means it is actually this. Okay. So expression is A and B. Now, if I connect NAND gate, two NAND gates in series, because when you have to realize this, we don't have anything other than NAND gate. So two NAND gates in series. Then what is the outcome here? Actually it is AB bar and it is AB bar bar. Double negation. Okay, okay, okay. There is a problem. It, it, it's not the explanation actually. Uh, it is something A, B, bar. Okay. Now, if I fuse these two inputs, that means if I connect these inputs together for the time being, I am making one transformation in this gate. Then what happens? It is nothing but A into A complement. Now A dot A, what is A, A or A and A? If I go back to and, we find that zero and zero is zero. 1 and 1 is 1. So that's why A and A is A. Okay. So it is nothing but A. And it is A complement or A naught. So using NAND gate, it is possible to have not get. Okay. This thing is proved from this expression. Now from NAND to AND. This is actually NAND to not. This is NAND to 
and I am doing it. It is it is A and B, and if it is NAND gate, then it is F A B. Now, if I connect this to inverter, I don't have any inverter available, but assume I have one inverter available, then what will be the output? It will be AB. It is nothing but the AND. Okay. Now, instead of that inverter, we'll connect this inverter because function of this inverter is same and it is built using NAND gate. then it should behave like AB. Okay. So up to this, I think it's clear. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Understood. Understood. Now we have to convert NAND into OR. But before conversion, we need to know one formula, which is known as D Morgan's law. Uh, let me write also D Morgan's law. This formula states that it is, if it is this, then it is and if it is this then it is this okay this is the d morgan's law and based on that d morgan's law we will have to do something Okay, that means we have to realize this one a plus b or a or b this function NAND to or this is our target. Now, how can I do this? Actually, if I look at this formula, then everything will be clear to you. This is D Morgan. Now, if I substitute A by A complement, then then it should be A plus B or A or B. So these two can be achieved using NAND because NAND can be tuned to not gate. And same thing, we can also do this using NAND gate. Now using NAND gate and it is nothing but the inverter here on the top of it. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll use one NAND gate. It, it behaves like a complement. It behaves like B complement. Then then it is or or op and operation is there. So NAND to AND, how can I create NAND to AND? NAND to AND is this one. That means we do NAND first and then inverter. This is AND operation. Sir, NAND operation, right? No, this is, this part is AND, actually. You consider it is like X, Y. X is A complement. 
and after that it is again once again it is check it if there is any problem or not okay what is the output here uh i think these two will cancel out each other because these two are the nand to double nand will cancel out each other so it is actually this one and this one is nothing but this one so uh, you can safely remove that thing i think this is an arrangement for nand to or is it check it check it and tell me yes sir okay so from uh, this expression i think and or not everything is available so i can map nand gate into any of the fundamental gates as a result if nand gates are available whole bunch using whole bunch of nand gates we can realize any logic expression okay that's why it is called universal logic gates Similarly, we can also do it for NOR gate. Let us try it for NOR gate. Our target is to get and or and not. If it is possible, we can claim that uh, we can realize any expression using NOR gate and. Not it is an universal logic gate. So not to not. Not to not. If I set a equal to b, then what happens? Like before, then. F equal to A or A A. Now, if I go back to or, actually, we can find that zero or zero is zero, and one or one is one. So that's why A or A is also. So it is nothing but this one. This is not to inverter. This. And now not to or if I do it, then what happens? Sorry, this is I have missed that bubble. This is now. How can I make it behaving like or same thing? You have to do. You have to fuse one one of the inputs. That means you have to join one of the inputs. So
because not followed by inverter not followed by inverter it will be like or check it if it is possible or not any problem in it no sir no problem and this one will have some problem i think because this requires again once again the demodulus law because uh, this is something you are supposed to get hmm, that means a or b complement equal to a complement and b complement now if you do it that means if you take a complement and b complement instead of a or b then it will be a b so we have to use that principle here that means we have to like before you put two negation here You check it also if it is can be or not check it because this is your a not and this is your b not and a or this this expression is being represented here So finally, we will got get A. B. Any doubt? No, sir. No. So why is NAND get called universal gate? Why is NOT get called universal gate? I think it's a very standard question. If it is asked in your exam, very easily you can answer. You have to convert or map your NAND gate or NOT gate into fundamental gates each of the fundamental gates and then you can say that if i have plenty of nor gates or nand gates you can do anything you can realize any half adder okay before get starting half adder i have to discuss something that how to get any expression or how to get any expression from two table let's say i provide this is exclusive or let's say a b and a so for exclusive or you know that if both the inputs are same then it is zero otherwise it is one you know it that it is exclusive case but how can you get it from this table how can you get that if this table is equivalent to exclusive or maybe sometimes 
uh, it is not given some random uh, this value may be zero or like that so how can we get it what is the expression for this table there is an well defined method known as k mapping but i am not going to discuss k mapping because k mapping will be too elaborate and it maybe it is not required at this stage carnot mapping i will rather discuss one shortcut method uh, just working method at this stage but later uh, if you get into uh, some digital electronics type of study then uh, most possibly you have to follow carnot mapping right now a type of shortcut method is used okay method says that we represent any variable if it is zero if it is zero then we represent it variable by complement let's say x is a variable and if it is one then we represent it by x okay you know about it for the time being i will want if i provide one example it will be clear to you okay when we have zero we will represent by complement or not and when it is not zero or one then we will represent the variable directly okay so in this using this rule we can provide or we can uh, provide the expression for any type of truth table okay now how can i do this here actually output is f now if i uh, analyze the input we have to first understand or identify the output one okay we have to identify the row with output one okay these are the rows with output one now in this row for each row you consider here a is zero and b is one so we write a complement and b okay as per this rule we write here for this row for this row we have done for this row a is 1 b is 0 so we write a directly but we use complement of b so now we will join these terms by and so this is the formation of the expression and we know that it is nothing but the exclusive or same thing uh, let us test for other uh, we to table let's say this is 0 1 and this is 1 okay i am taking one random expression now what is the expression for it we identify that this row and this row because the output is 1 here here input is for this row a is 0 b is 1 so we have to write a complement b for this row a is 1 b is 1 so we have to write a b okay now we'll join this by or operator so there is a chance for minimization because if i take b common so a complement plus a now what is the value of it for or we go, if i go back to or so 0 and 1 if it is 0 and 1 then it is 
if it is 1 and 0 then it is 1 so it is always 1 if one of them is 0 and one of them is 1 is it check it yes sir okay so we'll use this there a plus a complement equal to 1 so if it is one then b or one now b or what is the value of b or one so b and one it's not b or so if b is zero then 0 and 1 is 0 1 and 1 is 1 okay that means b and 1 is nothing but b understood or a and 1 is nothing but a any problem no sir if you check this the second row and the fourth row then you will find this okay then it is b so ultimately if i simplify it is f equal to b now you if you put f equal to b then what is the table here A, B, and A. So zero, 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 one, one, zero, and sorry, one, one. So if I put directly F equal to B, that means I am putting B. And this, these two tables are exactly same, I think. Okay. This proves that this is, it is the correct expression for this table. Any doubt to understand this method? Sir, have I have one doubt. Uh, okay. When writing okay. f is equal to a complement b plus a into b, then every time that plus is used, or uh, is there any rule for that? Uh, what is your question? Repeat once again. A, a is equal uh, to A, a complement in uh, and b a plus a into b mm -hmm. so here that plus is uh, always used or there is any rule no 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 this is not plus this is or operator yeah yeah or operator means always we use all of uh, or operator or um, is there any here in this rule? case the rule is that that you have to select the row with one output okay rows with output one hmm. and then you have to uh, using this rule you have to put the variables and then you have to connect all these rows by or operator okay okay uh, i will also show uh, another example when i discuss half error okay this is just the fundamental idea of how i am i am using this rule Half error is nothing but two bit error. That is you will understand it. No problem. In half error, it it looks like this. That means there are two inputs, and in half error, it produces. It's not. it produces sum and carry now you have to find the expression of it so 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 
now what is the sum 0 and 0 is 0 0 plus this is sum not or operation 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 0 is 0 with carry 1 and rest of the cases carry is 0. I think it is quite like decimal operation. Now consider this is your truth table. Okay. Here the outputs are 2. We have to deal with 2 outputs. It is not single output. Okay. Now we will derive the expression for sum and carry and finally we will construct the hard logic circuit of operator. Okay. Now let me identify the rows with one. Let me follow the step, follow step by step and if there is any problem, you please uh, report me. Okay. So please what does sum represent here? Sum represents sum of the addition actually. When you add two numbers, there is one sum and one carry means this is simple yes. sum not all simple, simple sum but it is in binary mode in decimal uh, we do sum like this in this way 12 plus 9 it is equivalent to 11 in this way so this is nothing but the sum and this is nothing but the carry okay the so same thing we do this do here but this is in binary mode, not in decimal mode. Let's say this is the expression like this. Like this, this is an expression. Here, F is an output, but here we are dealing with two outputs, sum and carry. Okay. For sum, these two rows, these are two rows with output one. Now check the input combinations here. Okay, let us do it in different color. It will be visible to you properly. Check the input combination of these rows. For these rows, it is A and sorry, A complement B because a is 0, B is 1. For this row, it is A, B complement. Because A is 1, B is 0. I think uh, if, you, uh, if you follow this rule, actually we are working with this rule. Okay. 0, if your number, if the value is 0, we will consider uh, the complement of that variable, not of that variable, otherwise we consider the variable directly. Any problem? Any problem to understand this? No, no sir. No, sir. For carry, sir, A to B. Uh, let, me check. Let, me check. let me check, it may be, for carry, this is the only row with output 1, so we have to follow this only, so as a result, it is A and B, since both of them are 1, so there is no possibility of negation or in inverter not symbol. So this is actually the expression for carry. Any doubt to understand how I have derived this expression? Understood, sir. Okay. If it is okay, then I will go for the next step because next step is very easy. This is nothing but exclusive or and this is uh, and of person, but still I am doing it with using uh, ordinary and or and not get. You can also use exclusive or no problem. Uh, 
I considered that only A and only fundamental gates are available here. So as a result, it will be not A, V and A, V not. So here is one hand operation, here is another hand operation, just wait. Now, uh, you can substitute also this part by exclusive or, so this is an expression for sum. If you have any difficulty to understand, please tell me, don't hesitate. This is scary. Okay. Check it out. If you have any problem, any doubt, tell me. Otherwise, the full letter may not be understandable. Okay. Is it understandable? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I assume it is understandable too all of you and this method is also understandable to everybody without doing k map we can uh, roughly estimate or not roughly it is approximately but in k map there is a chance of minimization also but sir, we not sir the half header is only for the middle two means 0 1 and 1 0 0 and uh, no 0 1 and 1 2 no, it is it is only the expression for sum. Actually, in half adder, these two are the output region, and this this is the input variables, and these are the output. So only for sum, your statement is true. For carry, the last one is true. One, one, one. And this output. So here, instead of one output, we have two outputs because every addition has two outputs. Either zero, uh, sorry, sum and k. It is known as two bit adder also. So, two bit adder circuit is prepared in this way. So, here I have just have mentioned half adder, full adder. Actually, the, the what is inside that box that is written here. This thing is inside that box. Okay. This is half adder. How much time is left with ten forty seven? Should I discuss full order? Is it possible? I don't think. So it will be much better if I continue next day. On on next day, okay. Because uh, if I start discussing, it may require at least fifteen minutes. That much of time is not available to us. 
ओके सर ओके नेक्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस टू लेटर ओके सर थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी यस सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर 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 एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू सर